Join the DAC Pack today by clicking subscribe. And also, hit that bell. All right, all right, so today, we're gonna get to see the secret ending to Hello Neighbor 2, and we're doing a bunch of other stuff as well. Let me show you. What's up, my name is Isaac Gun today, Dak Blake here, and today we're going back into the game of Hell Neighbor 2, and today is a little bit more special because we get to do a bunch of stuff we normally wouldn't get to do. I mean, we're playing the game in the craziest way possible. Right now, I am standing in the outside scene, and you're probably asking yourself, Dak Blake, how are you doing this? Well, this is made all possible by somebody named Kokosko. Um, he's made a bunch of like amazing Hello Neighbor mods in the past and literally just made a console kind of like mod for the game where we can actually just do a bunch of stuff that have been kept secret. Um, we can fly around, we can find little secret propeller hats and stuff. We can see the secret endings. We're even walking around. I'm looking at his face. Look, you can see his close up little like beard. He's just staring. He looks pretty cool. Honestly, he kind of looks like a superhero. Like not gonna lie. Like, this is one of the coolest scenes I've ever got, uh, gotten to see, and you don't even get to see this! They- they show you it from, like, super far away. Like, you- oh, jeez, why is there a giant X on the ground? Um, is there treasure here? He's like, yes! I have buried treasure while you were speaking. But normally you see him from, like, really far away, barely, and then it says you win. You- you only get the little, little second! A little tiny second of seeing him! Now, we have the abil- oh. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know this! He's standing in the back! What? So this guy's kind of just standing back here. I haven't even noticed that this is here. He put a trumpet here and a phone? Oh, um, okay. I guess this is kind of an alarm system. We're discovering crazy things. This whole video has just started and we're about to break the game and see a bunch of cool stuff. But <laughs> you guys were so mad at me in the last video and you were right. You were right to be mad at me. I missed him. I didn't even get to see him. I literally, cause I was walking out. I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, it's very windy out there. And then it just said, you win. So ow, ow, stop hitting me with stuff. But it said you win and I didn't even notice him. And all the comments were like, Dak Blake, you make me really mad that you didn't even notice him there. But now you can see him in all of his true close-up glory. But um, enough of this. Um, we'll come back to this in a little bit, but I want to show you the secret ending. All right, so I've just restarted my game. As you can see on the bottom left, Kokosko has added um, a little command feature. You could do a bunch of stuff in it. Um, we can type in a bunch of commands that he has made. Um, one of them being secret ending. He has found a secret ending and it's one of the codes. Now, if I show you this, it's it's weird. It's like they planned on doing a, like an alternate ending to the game, but it goes through the walls and stuff. So I guess without me explaining a bunch, I know I'm explaining so much. Let me just show you it. All right, so I type in secret ending, I press enter and it shows you this. We walk up to the neighbor. We're like, hey, what's up dude? And he's like, oh, oh wait, I'm standing right there. You can see me, <laughs> okay. And then we walk over here and it crawls us into here. And, the, like, do you see this? This whole secret ending. We're walking through the walls, though. <laughs> There's Quentin just standing there. All right, and then that. Do you see that? Like, how creepy that was. So I was like, okay. Um, in Kokosko's video, he actually goes around and destroys the wall. So let's go and do that so we can see this better. But oh my gosh, do you, are you guys, like, excited as I am? We get to see a secret ending just like that. Just like that. It's an, like an alternate ending to the game. Um, I don't know if they've just replaced um, the neighbor's model or, like, like those are placeholders. Like, that was supposed to be somebody else. Like, imagine if we went into the attic and we saw, like, a young Aaron or a young, like, Maya or something. Like, this is just like a like a scene from long ago and we walk and we see them and they're trapped in the attic and they crawl away. I don't know, it could it could be something like that. All right, so right now I could type in destroy target and anything that I'm looking at gets destroyed. So I'm thinking we destroy pretty much everything around so that we can see this clearly. All right, I'm just going around destroying the whole house. Ah, this is great, ah, the perfect, perfect. <laughs> Oh, jeez, I deleted the floor. Well, I think this might be good enough to actually see what's clearly going on. I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna delete a little more. Um, I think we're gonna be floating now. Um, but you know what? That's fine. Let's fine. Let's let's type in secret ending now. Let's watch this. Okay, so we're gonna get to walk up to the neighbor now and see everything that's going on. There are no walls blocking everything, so he's gonna go here. Yeah, and I think he zooms back to the left, so we're like, oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
And now we can see him in all of his true glory. And oh my gosh, he looks skinny. Like he, he lost a bunch of weight. And he's wearing like a mask. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Yeah, so he's wearing a mask of himself. I, I, I literally don't know what that's supposed to mean. But maybe... That secret ending is supposed to mean that he's been like up there. And if you saw, he had like a face, like he lost a bunch of weight and he was wearing a mask of himself. Is that like a metaphor, right? Like he's not himself anymore. I'm just now finding random levers inside the house. I don't even know what they're, oh wait, look, that lever opens up that. That's so cool. We're just finding stuff. Neighbor, what's up, man? How's it going? Oh geez, oh, I fell slightly. Don't notice that. <laughs> But wow, this is what we get to see. You know the wind and stuff that we got to see in the trailer? Now we can actually see that. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right, what other commands do we get? We get slow-mo, we get to go to the, okay. So it says teleport you to the key in the, the funicular. What is that? All right, so I just typed in funicular key and um, I guess it brings you to, oh geez. Hey, what's up guy? Um, we get a key here. And I think this brings us to a place where we get like a cool propeller hat. And actually, dude, this is cool. Thanks for bringing me here, mystery man. He's kind of just always so mysterious and he's got a newspaper. You mind if I read that? Are you from the future? Can I can I take that from you? Hold on. Excuse me. Oh, jeez. He, he looks kind of upset. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, I didn't know this, but they put this in the game. So this are, these are all little secrets that the developers kind of hid, I guess, for themselves. I don't know. Maybe they were anticipating that uh, somebody would mod something in because I remember in the original game, a guy named M13 Greenhouse or M Greenhouse 13, I think it's M13 Greenhouse, um, did this, did the exact same thing. And they um, actually put a greenhouse in the game called M13. So they know that people do this and now um, I think they hid little secrets. So we just jumped out, we still got our key and apparently um, from Kokosko's video, which I'll link down in the description, um, you're supposed to walk over to the um, little shed over here. All right, so behind this shed should be the thing that we are searching for. And I think it's actually one of the coolest things. Um, let's open it and I'll show you what it is right there. And you're probably thinking, what is this deck, Blake? Um, it's a little propeller hat. And now um, I think what we could do is, I f oh, yeah, put it on. And how does this work? Oh, I figured it out. Okay, so what you do is you put it on and you press shift. It took me a while. It took me like a minute to figure out. You press shift and you start flying. So, um, yeah, we get this little thing. Maybe I'll make a video in the future about how, like, flying to cool places in Hello Neighbor. Just like flying in Hello Neighbor 2, right? Where we just go a bunch of places. I want to test out all the commands, but oh my gosh, the secret is insane. Um, and, and we're just floating on by. Dude, the neighbor looks like a superhero, but we're doing the superhero stuff right now. I mean, look at this. Hello, neighbor. I know you look pretty cool right now, but I am flying above you. You actually look like you're kind of looking at me, kind of mad. He looks like he's like a, like a father, like a disappointed father. And he's like, son, get down right now. I just read your report card. <laughs> Sorry, dad. What, what did you do? Oh, and you're not even looking at me anymore? You can't look at me? He's like, I'm too disappointed in you. I can't even look at you. You know what? <laughs> I'm just going to delete your bike then. All right. And there we go. <laughs> I just destroyed the bike like that. Oh, man. Wait, does that mean we can just destroy the neighbor? Like if I click destroy target and press enter. Oh, I, he kind of just glitched. Does that mean you can't destroy him? Is he invincible? All right, neighbor, get out of here. Delete. Okay, or, <laughs> or the floor. All right, bye floor. It was nice knowing you. All right. I think the name of this, the game now for like secrets is finding cool items. Now, I think in the toggle commands, it says that you can summon object name underscore C. And this is what we were doing in Hello Guest. Um, we were finding objects that um, the game has kept hidden. And I think you can summon like anything and you type underscore C and it'll summon it. So let's see, like summon, I'll type BP box, I think, underscore C. Yeah, and then look, we got it. But the thing is, is like, I know that it's called BP box because I've worked in like the engine of the Hello Neighbor game. So I don't know what a lot of things are named. Can I do like BP book, you think? All right, BP book. Uh, I, it seems like it doesn't work. I, I, nothing happened. Maybe if I just try book? Book? No? All right, I'm just gonna replace the word box with something. Um, can I type car? And you think it was some in the car? Uh, no. Darn it. Darn it. All right, what about a brand new um, basketball? Let's get a basketball. All right, does that work? 
No. Um, hmm. I don't know what exists. Oh my gosh, I summoned a bed. I summoned a bed. I typed bed and now there's a bed on me. Ah, get it off. What, what is this monstrosity above me? It's like, it's a bunch of shoes. Hold on. What? How do I get out of here? Um, I think I have to destroy this and we'll go summon it outside. This looks so gross. I can't destroy it. I can't destroy it. I'm looking at it and it won't go away. It won't go away. I'm destroying everything around it. Ah, okay. You think I can get out of here now? I'm stuck. I'm literally destroying the floor before me in order to get out from under that bed. Oh my gosh. Let me out of here. All right. I got to summon that again. What was that? So apparently what it was was this. This is so gross. It is like a bunch of shoes. Is this even in the game normally? Did I just find some gross shoe bed? Ew, look at this. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess give me some comments of what you think could be in the game. I literally just thought like, like so the, the command is like summon BP underscore something and then underscore C. So if I if I just type random things, random things get summoned. It's like we're finding things to exist in the world. You know, I feel, I'm feeling like another refrigerator. I don't know if I could summon it, but I, um, I don't know if they would call it a fridge or a refrigerator. I'm gonna type fridge first. Oh my gosh, we got a, we got a cool fridge. Oh, sick. I just have a floating fridge here now. Oh, -ho! do you think I could type in the neighbor? No, doesn't work. Darn it, it was so close. We were so close. This is kind of like, if you've ever played Scribble Knots, this is kind of what it feels like. I'm just summoning things that I can think of. And this is so cool. So we're, I'm trying to think of things that I've seen before in the game. I can't even remember anything anymore. Crowbar? Oh, I, yep, crowbar exists. I just have another crowbar. Can I chuck it at the neighbor? <laughs> Oh gosh, he's a tank. He just took that to the head and was just like, ding. Yes, I do not feel pain. Oh my gosh, I figured it out. It's CH. If you want to summon a character, it's CH. I summoned him. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, hey buddy, how's it going? So can we look in the mask? I just want to, I want to get a little peek in there. Come on, put your mask near me. I know this is weird. Uh, yeah, I can't see anything. Oh my gosh, it feels like the world has been opened up. It feels like this entire world of Hello Neighbor 2 is so big and open now. We can explore, we can summon random things. It feels like I can make like a bunch of cool videos on this game because it doesn't feel like it's over. This is just like a little alpha demo. And there's so much to do. I feel like I have the power to do anything too. I could walk up to this house and finally go in it now. Um, you know, I could just, um, I guess glitch my way in, but oh, actually there's, there's doors here. There's doors. It's like, please don't break me. I just, I, I have an opening. <laughs> well, as you can see, this is my new house. I can summon beds in here and stuff. We could live here. I know this looks like a dump, but I can make it look nice. As you can see, all I need are boxes. I mean, what else does Dag Blake need other than a box fort? And <laughs> I've just been clicking this over and over again, and uh, I have a bunch of boxes. Ah, uh, yes truly a home it's just it's just like 40 boxes on the floor but you can jump into them ah this is great this is where i'm gonna sleep this is my kitchen it's very glitchy i like it um and you know this is the bedroom hold on i'm trying okay all right all right i'm getting i'm glitching a bunch okay ow 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 okay this hurts a little bit but Pretty cozy. All right, so I've gotten myself a chair. I've, I've, I typed in chair and it summoned a chair. So I have one chair here. Um, I also have a new light. I summoned that as well. This is gonna be our light chair. Um, as you can see, light chair is summoning shadow puppets. And that is going to be our entertainment. Um, let's make the box for our bed really quick. That looks good. All right, so we have our new bed here, our new box bed. Looks nice and comfy, perfect. We have our light. Um, what? Why are there crows in my house? Who left the door open? No, there's there's no door. I just remembered. There's a bunch of birds in my house now. Shoo, get out of here. Why are you here? I don't even know what you mean. Get out. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Why were there birds here? But, um... Yeah, I, there's so much left to do. I don't even, there's there's so much limitless possibility. I literally need comments to tell me where I should go next, right? We can summon anything, we could go anywhere, we can create anything, we can make any video messing around with the neighbor now and the guest. 
Everything is open now. <laughs> this is so cool. So thank you to Cocosco for making this possible by modding in this console. Um, this is awesome. Make sure to check them down in the description. Also, um, I guess subscribe if you're new. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we're doing a lot of Hello Neighbor. We're doing a lot of like crazy like piggy things too this week. So join me as we go on to 800k and I'm excited. I'll, I'm going to leave it here. But a new video is probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.